Okay, so today we're looking at the possibility frontiers curve, the PPF, the production possibilities frontier curve, the PPF curve. Okay, this curve just shows the combina different combinations of goods or services that a country can produce. So in this case, we're looking at the combina different combinations of papers and pens. We're assuming the country just produces papers and pens points remember points along the curve represent that resources are being ut utilized efficiently any point inside the curve means that resources are not being utilized efficiently for example like this red dot here any point outside the curve shows us that this is unattainable it's impossible to reach this point uh, with the resources that we have. So now the PPF graph dis, uh, displays the following economic concepts. Scarcity, okay, there's unlimited resources. There's unlimited, people have unlimited wants, but they are limited resources, okay? So as you can see, even here, this curve represents the limit at which we can produce as a country, all right? So scarcity again, unlimited ones, limited resources. Then also the other economic concept here is the concept of trade-offs. So the trade-off is between pens and papers. And the final concept that is also revealed is the opportunity cost. What we give up whenever we make a choice. So that's what we're going to now be calculating on this PPF curve. The opportunity costs okay so we're going to move along the curve from point a to b to c to d and we'll be calculating the opportunity cost so the first question would be what is the opportunity cost from A to B, so I'll say from A to B. So at point A, we are just producing pens, all right? We're just producing 40 pens. We're not producing any papers, all right? Now we're going to move along the curve from point A to B. So as you can see, at point B, we're producing 35 pens, okay, 35 pens, and we're producing six papers. So that's the combination of goods. Now to calculate the opportunity cost, we're going to focus on what we have given up, okay? So as you can see, from 40 to 35, you can say 40 minus 35, 40 minus 35 gives us, five all right so we give up five pens all right we have given up five pens all right to produce six papers all right we just subtracted 40 minus 35 to see how much how many pens we gave up then we can ask ourselves what's the opportunity cost from B to C? Okay. At point C, we're producing 25 pens, all right, and we're producing 12 papers. producing 12 papers actually let me put it as 13 I'll make it 13 papers we're producing 13 papers so we're going to give up 10 pens okay 10 pens we're just saying 35 minus 25 
Okay, that gives us 10. So we're going to give up 10 pence. Okay, to produce seven more papers. Okay. First, what 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 point B? We're producing 35 pence and six papers. Now we gave up another 10 pence to produce another seven papers okay so i'll put here seven papers here because 30 uh, minus 6 that gives us seven yeah so that let us put it here 35 minus 25 that's 10 pins all right now i'm going to move from point c to d Okay, from point C to D, right? So at point D, we can see we're only producing papers. We're not producing any more pens, okay? So we're going to have to give up. So from 25 to 0, this is just like saying 25 minus 0. That gives us 25. So we gave up 25 pens, right? We have given up 25 pens. So I'm going to say from C to D. Okay, 25 minus 0 gives us 25 pence. So we have given up 25 pence. Okay, let me make this as 22. Okay, to produce 8 more papers okay produce eight more papers so as you can see from a to b we gave up five pens Oops. We gave up five pens to produce six papers and then from b to c we gave up ten pens produce seven papers and then from C to D we gave up 25 pens to produce eight papers so now this brings us to the law of increasing opportunity cost right the law of increasing opportunity cost that's the reason why the PPF curve is bow shaped it's not a perfect bow shape but if you ever want to know the reason why the PPF curve is bow shaped, it's because of the law of increasing opportunity cost. As you and the law of increasing opportunity cost states that as you want to produce one more of a good, the opportunity cost increases. Okay. As you want to produce more of one more, as you want to produce more of a good, right, the opportunity cost increases so as you can see as we wanted to produce more papers the opportunity cost was increasing okay from five then we moved to ten then we moved to twenty five 